Good morning, Firecatchers. This is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and this is the weekly, your weekly worship encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. Today we're talking about are you anointed or are the worship flags anointed? And I'm gonna come to I'm gonna circle back around to that. Right at the end, I just wanted to tell you a few things that are going on with the Firecatchers. First, we have a brand new uh, flag, featured flag of the month. It's called Love and Only Love. I personally love it. If you've actually gotten any emails from me ever, uh, you know that that's actually the salutation and that statement has transformed my entire Christianity, love and only love. All the laws can be wrapped up in that. And so that's available for this month. Uh, so check it out. I've provided the link there. Also, we're getting ready for the biannual children's flag sale. So if you want children's flags, you need to make sure that you are registered at the link that I provide below. Uh, if you are not part of that list, then you will not find out information about when, where, and how to shop because it is chaos. Chaos, real chaos. Uh, and I don't want you to miss out on the children's flags. They're only $10. I sell it do this twice a year, so it is a steal. Secondly, no, thirdly, um, we are got the fire catchers events like there's so many events that are coming up so check out the fire catchers events page we have the classroom this saturday rosie's teaching and uh so we don't want you to miss that she's the her link is there uh, we've got the book club next week we've been reading hosting his presence with Bill Johnson, Carrie Ann is leading us in that book club on Friday. And we have the Recharge event in July. This is a weekend where we are coming together to fellowship, have fun, and worship on the mountain. And then we also have a Facebook live community group party. Now, if you are not part of the group party, this is back in December. It is chaos. And we, I think, like Jen's right in one of the other posts, I think we almost broke Facebook. Uh, there was just so much activity, but it is super fun and there's great chances for you to win good prizes. So uh, you have to register for that. So sign up for the link and I think I got that all my notes. Okay, so worship flags, is it you or is it the flags? And so you know when you discover, it's actually not I've just discovered, I don't know anything about anointing, or as soon as I start to, dis, to study anointing, I realize, I don't think I understand this word. I think it's a Christianese word that we throw out a lot, and I don't know, I have not actually ever heard anyone fully explain what anointing is. I think that you know when it's on you or when it's on someone you can sense it. Um, so this, I'm not gonna be discussing what anointing, like the fine points, I think that's a good teaching and I'm gonna, I've been actually on this subject for years because can you lose your anointing? Can you grow an anointing? How much anointing do you have? These are all great questions and I don't think that that it's just a cut and dry answer. So we know that in, so I'm not actually going to talk about that. So that's going to be a classroom event. So look for that. But the question is, are worship legs anointed or, or is the worshiper? So here's what I believe to be true. I believe that the objects are not anointed. It is the person. And so we have some examples of objects seemingly being anointed. And so we have from scripture, from the New Testament scripture, we have uh, a sample, an example of Jesus's robe when the widow with the blood issue touched his robe that she was healed so that there was anointing that flowed out of his robe. We also know from the example of Peter's shadow that when he passed by someone that they were healed in his shadow. And we also have the example of Paul's handkerchief that he was working. Uh, it doesn't even say that he was working at ministry. Some, a lot of people uh, will actually say that he was working in his tent making business and he was sweat, so he, sweating and so he had wiped a handkerchief on his forehead and then they sent that and laid it on a sick person and then they were anointed. So some might erroneously believe that it's the object. And I don't believe that that is true. So I believe that it is 
the person. So with the aspect of worship flags, so how do worship flags work? How um, can you use an un anointed worship flag uh, and ha have an amazing anointed worship time with it? The thing is, there's two people that are involved with worship flags. That is the maker, that is me, or any other maker that you that you choose to purchase from, or, and it is also you, the worshiper. So it is. So there's a there's a a benefit of of two hearts that are attuned to the worship of the Lord that add impact to the worship that you produce with the worship flags. For me personally, worship flags enhance worship um, because of the color and the movement, and those things are all created by God, to ha and they have meaning, I, th so there's absolutely that. But the worship, so if an unholy person picks up my worship flags that I have created, there's anointing imparted to them because of the anointing that God has put on me. And now if you purchase or um, pick up any old rag uh, and you have a heart and the Lord says just pick that thing up and wave it around and you use it as, your, as a heart that is tuned to the Lord, that worship flag now becomes a part of your anointing, that there's an impartation. And so if you have, I mean, that's just like, that is just a small smidgen of the answer. And um, I would be love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Are worship flags anointed? Is it the worshiper? Um, what happens? What is there a transference? Can, we've actually had this conversation, I think, in the past. Can you, if you let someone who isn't holy use your flags, can they smear your flags with unholiness? Or do you smear them with holiness? What is it that you think about it? I'd love to have this conversation. So I'm not seeing any questions right now. There's a bit of a delay. So if I, I'm just going to give it a second. If not, there's, we're going to be talking more about this issue. I love it. It's, it's a, it's something that's on my heart and I, especially the anointing part. And we're, so we're gonna talk about that in a classroom, but I don't see anything. So I'm just gonna wrap it up right now. Thank you guys, have a fantastic week. I really hope to see you in the classroom on Saturday in the book club and we've got, we've got a lot of things. So just check it out, check out the links. Children's worship flags, if you need them, want them, you're gonna have to get on the list and Love and Only Love is only available until May 31st. So see you guys, love you, keep worshiping.